Hello, and welcome to Wednesday, the day of Wednes. Now, I wanted to talk to some talk about something that I haven't really talked about. I may have in the past, but, um, you know, since I started this and since I've been doing this, I don't think I've ever mentioned it. I pretty much only drink water. And while you see the alcohol collection behind me, that's pretty much the only exception. Um, I tend to avoid any like sugary drink or fruity drink or anything. My one rule is that if it has even the slightest bit of alcohol, I will allow myself to partake in such a beverage. But typically that means no coffee, no soda, no anything like juice or anything it's pretty much just water for me now this started back in february 2020 um i was getting uh i was at dunkin donuts getting coffee for myself and a friend and while i was getting uh well i had like you know my usual order it's like some coffee with like whipped cream or whatever I'm like cool and then I had it that day, and my stomach was a wreck. I'm not so sure if it was the coffee. I wasn't sure if it was the milk. But, you know, I told myself, okay, I'm going to stay away from coffee for a little bit. And at this time, I had just started my previous job, where, like, um, started again at my previous job uh, from February 2020. That lasted until September 2021. So I was there for... Um, how many months is that? 12 plus 7? 19? 19 months? Um, yeah, so I was like, okay, avoid coffee and milk or whatever. Um, typically, like when I interned at my uh, previous job, I did it in 2018. I did it only for like three, four months, 2018 to 2019. Uh, for breakfast every day, I would go to the sandwich shop that was right next door to our, um, office. Office is no longer there. They're moved. Uh, the, uh, it's a sandwich chain called Lemwich in New York City. Um, I'm not so sure if they have other locations or not, but, uh, I know they are big in NYC, Manhattan to be specific. Uh, I would go there next door, get a, um, large mocha, mocha coffee love my chocolate i would i have been thinking about chocolate today recently uh today recently yes a lot about chocolate today um large mocha coffee and then i would get a sandwich uh bacon egg and cheese with ham on a kaiser roll Ooh, ooh, i miss it sometimes i would get a wrap sometimes i would get um something else but um you know they knew me there and i felt it felt good having like a regular hangout spot where I would uh, just grab food in the morning and uh, head back upstairs to uh, my office. So um, yeah, because I started work uh, working then, uh, wasn't remote until March, halfway through March. So I would be just sipping on my uh, coffee uh, throughout the day or throughout the morning, and unfortunately, because I uh didn't ha wasn't able to drink well I told myself don't drink coffee don't drink milk um i just stuck with um water and that you know that worked out pretty well for me and then because you know the world uh came crumbling down uh i was like okay well you know i i'm at home i have a water bottle water comes from the fridge downstairs all i need is some ice and some water and we're good to go. And I is that broken box? It's right behind me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the perks of having uh, having a messy room. Uh, so this is this is my um, go-to bottle, and I should probably just throw this out at this point. Um, yeah, I will after this video. But I assume this. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah. Um, this needs to throw out though. Uh, yeah. Um, this is a nice bottle. 
Well, I had it, like, until this broke off, which, and this broken part is right on the ground. But, um, filled this with ice, and, um, what did I do with it then? <laughs> Added water, and then, like, I would sip on it all day at my desk. And ever since then, I'm like, okay, well, um, I guess I'll just stick with this. And I, since then, I haven't had coffee or, sh like, any sugary beverages, like, I, on the rare, rare occasion I'll have it, but um, I could not tell you the last time I actually had coffee. I had, like, maybe, like, when I'm sick, I'll have some tea, if anything, but, like, non-caffeinated tea. Um, the closest thing I've gotten to actually having coffee would be, I think, something like a coffee liqueur. So like, this is Mr. Black, uh, it's cold brew coffee. Uh, it's a cold brew coffee liqueur. Um, maybe some Kahlua, which is right here. Both of these are really good stuff, but uh, yeah, uh, one of those, like maybe I've um, had a little bit of that, but typically I avoid caffeine and uh, you know, it's, it's worked out for me so far. Maybe not in, in the future, but I think it's doing me good. And like, I just had a super bad craving for like a cup of coffee. I, I was watching, I was watching a show uh, earlier and um, one of the guys there was just eating coffee with donuts. I'm like, ooh, I can smell that. Like I like walking into like a coffee bakery shop kind of thing. Oh, heavenly scent and uh kind of makes me miss it but not enough to have it you know eventually like every now and then i get cravings but cravings aren't that bad although i've been getting a craving for pizza and chocolate gotta focus on getting rid of that craving but uh my one true weakness is my two true weaknesses i'm not so sure if buffalo chicken pizza is stronger than my love for chocolate but uh yeah I, I i think might be they're pretty they're both pretty high like they're number one and number two on the list but where exactly who knows anyway i've rambled on long enough but <laughs> i think that's where i'm gonna call it here for today thank you all for watching i hope to see you tomorrow and until then later Thank you.